Hi, and welcome back to Beans and Bezels. Today we'll be taking a look at a few straps from Hadley. For those that don't know, Hadley is the latest label under the Hadley Roma umbrella that has been around since the early 1900s. They've been making watch straps and accessories for a very long time, as well as other goods that are proudly manufactured in America. They were kind enough to send me these six wonderful straps to check out and share with you. This isn't a sponsored video, but I'm not expected to return these straps back to them. Each strap is shipped in a wonderful recycled paper box. The first is their Apple Skin Strap in Brown. This vegan strap offering is a comfortable alternative to those that want to avoid leather. The grain is a lot more dense and uniform, but the material is almost indistinguishable from soft leather. Here it is on the Vario Eclipse. The next strap is an 18mm microfiber in green. It's the same kind of microfiber that you're thinking of, but here it is in the form of a synthetic leather strap. This one feels a lot more like a real leather strap and the grain looks very natural too. Here it is on the Stova Marine 36 that I recently reviewed. This is from their hybrid line of leather and silicone. I particularly requested this strap for my Fandag Shalmawa, but I've been wearing it on a lot of my other 22mm watches too. This one has a matching black buckle, but you can get it in other options as well. I think these hybrid straps are perfect for everyday tool watches that need to be dressed up occasionally. This is another from their hybrid line and has a smooth grain instead. Again, I love these hybrid straps because I'm a huge fan of rubber and silicone in terms of comfort and robustness, but I also like the way a leather strap looks. These hybrid straps are very supple and have just a thin layer of leather on them. I wouldn't try to get them too wet often, even though they are technically water resistant. This one is a bit more traditional and is their shrunken grain leather in tan. I love the color on this one and the cream stitching looks great. Here it is on my Atelier Wen Hao. All of their straps seem to be quite comfortable straight out of the box without needing much break in time. This took about a day to get to fit comfortably. And this last strap is definitely one of my favorites from this set. I usually don't like Cordura straps because they're made too thick and take weeks to break in. This one broke in within a few days and I've actually been wearing it on a different watch for the last 10 days now. Great quality materials and the stitching is excellent. All of these straps come with quick release pins, so strap changes are almost effortless. I hope you enjoyed looking at some of these straps and feel free to ask me any questions in the comments. Once again, thanks for watching.